All right, so this is the um, the second one we did. We were hoping that since we printed it a little bit lighter, that it would come out better, which it just, it came out okay, but it's still relatively hard. To, I mean, you can still see it, but it's just not what we were expecting. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to hopefully make it look better. So I have, we have two of these. So this is for an anniversary gift. So this is um, 50 years ago when they were like dating, we believe. And then this is now. And um, so we're gonna give them to them on Saturday for their anniversary. And I just sanded this one down and then wiped it because I'm going to paint or tape this up right here because we want the wood showing. But I'm gonna paint where the picture actually goes so that it will look more real. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. So let's get started. So I'm gonna, I sanded this one and I'm gonna sand this one and then I'm going to tape it up and that is completely optional. If you don't want the wood showing, then don't. But, um, you know, we just want to have like a wood trim around it. So let's get started. The items for this project that you'll need is you'll just need some Mod Podge glue, um, any type of, you know, sealer. Um, you can get like the spray sealers, whatever you wanna do to kind of protect uh, your actual finished product. Um, you also need this soft gel. It's a gel medium. Um, I've been searching for a bunch of these, like what brands, and there's two, we saw two different brands, but this is the one we saw because this is a blog post that I was following, and this is the exact one that she had, and the way hers turned out, I wanted to make sure it looked that way. So I don't really know the difference what a gloss or matte or anything like that would change um, with this, but we did use the soft gel matte finish, and this one is... A matte finish as well and then you'll just need uh, a sponge and you can get these from the Dollar Tree and packs and stuff or at Walmart or wherever you want to get them from but also if you get these from either AC Moore or Michaels definitely download their coupons they have like the 40% off coupons um, that you can use at any time so you just get one for each one if you you don't have to make two transactions you can go to both places which we had just had two people with us and we each had a coupon for each one so we got 40% off of each one of these so Let's get started. Okay, so you'll need the pictures that you will be doing. Um, you don't print them on regular like picture paper. You need to print them just on regular paper. We did it with the cheapest, thinnest paper, and then this is the thickest. A lot of videos and blogs that I was reading, they said the thinnest, the baddest, thin is better because it's easier to come off, but we did this one thinner. And we think the color came out a little bit better and it really didn't come off any different. So the, we got the thicker paper. I think it was like, a, what is it, 28 pound? I don't know what she said, but, um, and you have to rotate the picture. I did mine in Pick Monkey. It was really easy. Um, so normally, you know, she's on this side as it is right here. She's on the right side and he's on the left side. So this is rotated right here. So, and you don't have to, but it might look funny if you don't. So. That's what I've got. And now I'm gonna do is cut the pictures out and then um, get it all prepped and ready to go. Oh, and this needs to be an inkjet printer. Okay, so since I'm doing mine inside, we just have a leftover chip box that I get our chips in and I do it in here so if anything spills my paint cans inside of here, we're good to go. So I, should, I just have leftover primer from our house projects. Uh, any color I'm guessing would do. You just kind of test it out and see what works. Probably get you some store bought ones. All right, so we've got it taped off. I've shaken my paint up, and I am just going to dip the brush a couple times because I don't want it to be like a perfect. I don't want it to be like a perfect picture. We want this rustic look because of the wood. So I'm just brushing a very thin coat on top. Because we are doing the sepia, I think that's how you say it. We don't, we want to be able to see the picture. And this is um, one, two, three, four, my fifth and sixth time doing this. <laughs> Alright, 
So I have my dry painted board. And if you use primer, it relatively dries really fast. So I'm going to put, I guess it doesn't really matter, this picture. No, this one's the other one. This picture. This one's actually bigger. Oh, cool, look at that. I'll have to cut some of that down. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I have to take the tape off. Okay, so I took the tape off and I've measured to make sure my picture is gonna fit. And if it goes outside the white box, that's perfectly fine. So, and you're going to paint either this or the board with your medium gel. So I did the first time with this and I felt like the more brushes you're gonna get, the, if you kept going, you would end up pulling it off the picture. So I feel comfortable doing on the board but you know, do whatever you feel necessary. Just make sure your board is cleaned off. I'm using a little sponge and I'm gonna do a nice coat. And it's hard to say how much, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's just going to be a nice, not a thick, gloppy coating, but a nice thin to medium, I would say more to medium coating. I just want to make sure there's no heavy lines. Yeah. So when I wipe it, you get a nice little dollop. I don't know. It's hard to tell. You want to just keep going just to make sure you get it right. Okay. So I feel good with that one. So we're gonna lay our picture down just like this. And make sure it's not crooked. It's just a little crooked. Okay. Ooh, I just shifted it. All right. So you just wanna press it down, smooth it out. And with it being wood, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to be perfect. But then, you know, that's the kind of look that you're going for. Right. Some people used a ruler, but I feel like you can just do it just fine with your hands. And you'll start to feel it feeling a little moist if you keep up. So I don't do it too much. There's a little bit of the white showing, but that will be okay. All right. Mm, oh well. All right. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and back in my box. And move on to my last one.
the next day. Proof? See, we're in a different shirt. <laughs> All right, so it has been sitting. Let's see, I did that last night around eight, and it's now 12:45. So it's well over 12 hours. So and it's definitely dry. I can't really see it, but you can actually feel some of like the ripples. But so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a wet, a wet bag, and it is. for a couple of seconds, push it in so with the moisture, and then you're gonna start rubbing the spots that are starting to get really wet, like this. But it needs to be wet, wet. And this is, does take time. take some of the picture off. Just gonna be really careful. Okay, I've started on my second one and I think I found, I think, of a way to not, this to not happen. And I think if you go with the grain, like wiping wise, like instead of doing circular motions, and I think a lot of videos and um, blogs and stuff, they say that. And I have done it from this point, all this has been up and down, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to just figure out ways to do this. This is my sixth time doing this for the same project, trying to get it right. So, I don't know. I found that it's not coming off as much. See, like, there's this little teeny spot up here versus, like, this big spot here. Which, it doesn't look bad. Like, it kind of goes with the whole thing. But you don't want that to happen to, like, a face, you know. <laughs> you don't want someone's face to peel off. And see, I'm pressing rather hard. So I think if you go up and down with the grain of the wood, like if you're doing this type of wood, I don't know about, you know, like store-bought. This is, you know, out of straight out of a garage. See, so it's doing really well. I'm getting to their faces and I'm getting nervous. That made me really nervous. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you go with the grain of the wood, that it won't peel off as much. So you live, you live and you learn, right? Okay, so I've got it all wiped down and it's still moist. It's not completely dry because you'll see the paper if it's dry. And I have a matte finish Mod Podge. I got this at AC More and I used an AC More 50% off coupon. You can also you can also get it at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna pour some right here. And I'm gonna do probably three coats, depending on what it looks like. I'm gonna get this really good. That might have been more than I needed, but oh well. <laughs> I can always pick it up. Oop, oh, and put it back. Pick it up and put it back. There. All right, so the first coat has dried. So I'm just going to put my second coat. There it is. Just throw that away. I'm going to put my second coat on. And then this is just. I keep putting too much. This is just to protect it. Uh, you can get a glossy. They have colored ones. You can also make your own with just um, like the Elmer's glue. It's like 50-50. So if you did like one cup of glue, you did one cup of water. 
but you also can get it at the Dollar Tree, so whichever you prefer. So you just wanted to protect it, like especially where the areas have chipped, so they don't chip anymore. And I'm just going to finish doing this and then I'm going to let them dry completely and then they'll be done and ready to go. If you did, if we're going to do one bigger. Mm -hmm. We'll fry multiple times and then succeed in getting a picture of you two and us three boys. Mm -hmm. You probably, probably figured we were trying to do something. But anyway, we uh, come up with another idea. Really in the name of we all come up with another idea. This is four, oh. and this is half. Oh. Oh. And uh, they, it's really anyway. heavy. <laughs> 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 oh. like Thank you. So what we're going to do? We're going to get a photographer in the next couple weeks and take some pictures again, family pictures. Like we and did with then Jackie. You guys choose what picture you want and we're going to have it and in a canvas or however you, however want, you it. want it done and we're going to have it done. So Isn't that neat? I like that. I love um, this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's on. It's it's on. Special. But we and wanted to do special. something. And we can redo this one too because it does rub off on Matthew and Edward's head. But I mean, because I've done it six times this week. <laughs> I'm trying to get it right. Um, so you transfer it to the wood is what it does. Yeah, you have to print off the picture on the special like, ink and paper and transfer. <laughs>